Hey guys, it's Holly. I do a lot of cooking, travel, homeschooling, and motherhood videos. This video is actually a part two to a video I did last week on all the things I wish I would not have gotten when I was expecting my first baby. And this video being part two is going to be all the things that I recommend getting if you are expecting your first baby or even your second baby and you are looking for some new things to either register for or shop around for with your baby on the way. I'm really making this to share with you all the things that I learned when I was a new parent. I really wanted to make this video to share with you all the things that I found were really helpful and hoping that this may be helpful to you. If you are looking for the most important things to get because money might be tight or space might be limited and you want to get the things that are going to be very helpful with having a newborn baby or just baby in general, make sure you go and check out the part one video if you haven't already. I will have a link for that in the description box below. That way you can see all the things that I do not recommend getting, the things that I wish I want to bother getting or registering for because we didn't use them or it just really wasn't worth it. There are so many things out there that when you are registering, people will suggest. And I mean, I don't know if there's baby stores anymore. I remember registering at the big store Babies R Us. When I went in there and we met with somebody to do the registry, I basically had what I thought was an expert suggest all these things to me and tell me why it was important to have this. More than half the things they recommended, I don't feel are that important. And of course I know everybody's personalities, every mother is different. So I'm not saying that I have the answer to everything. I am merely here to make suggestions, share what I've learned, and hopefully it can be helpful to any of you new moms, expecting moms, that they might get an idea of some things that are really great to own when they are registering, shopping, etc. Let me get into it right now and share with you all the baby items that I liked, found value in, and highly recommend for any new parents out there. First item is Velcro Swaddles. Now this is a baby product that I never even knew existed when I was pregnant with my first baby. I just was not aware of it, but I was gifted with a Velcro swaddle right after my first baby was born. And I am so thankful for the Velcro swaddles because we learned that swaddling our babies is what helped them sleep through the night. I kid you not, my first baby was sleeping through the night at eight weeks old. And we truly believe that it is because because they slept well being nicely tucked in there in their swaddle. Now of course you can swaddle a baby in receiving blankets but babies will unwrap themselves and I will have a lot of people say I can't swaddle my baby because they don't stay in it. That is why Velcro swaddles are so great. We never had our babies coming out of them because of the design of them. I really like this one particular brand and by the way most if not all of these products there will be links for in the description box below if you want to find them easily. But definitely Velcro swaddles are top of my list of things I tell new parents that they should get for their baby, for their infant. We kept our baby swaddled from the neck down until they started flipping over. Then we swaddled them with their arms out. They just love sleeping in their swaddles. And along with that, I do highly recommend receiving blankets. I felt receiving blankets were just as beneficial. I like having a lot of the receiving blankets around because we did actually swaddle our baby in the receiving blanket and then tuck them into the Velcro swaddle. But at the same time, receiving blankets were so great to have for burp cloths because honestly those little burp cloths that they sell that you can throw over your shoulder is just not enough for cleaning up baby spit up and of course not all babies will spit up as much as others but I found that the receiving blankets were a great multi-purpose thing to have and I definitely can say you can never have enough receiving blankets. Next is this chuck pad here and I know what you're thinking what is so great about this? Well these mats here are waterproof and 
and I found them so helpful to have around for when I needed to lay my baby down. Say I was nursing my baby and when I was done, I wanted to lay my baby down right next to me on the couch, but I didn't want to lay he or she on my cloth furniture. So I'd always have a waterproof pad like this nearby as well if I was going to lay my baby down on the carpet. This way I did not have to worry about the baby spitting up all over either my cloth furniture or my carpet. And these pads here are washing machine safe. You could throw them in with any load of laundry really and just keep reusing them. You can see this one is well used. I had about four of them and I used them for all of my babies. Another item I found very helpful and practical was this fold up changing mat. Yes, another changing pad, but this is one that I kept in our car all the time because there was times when I might have left the house without the diaper bag, without some extra diapers. It was great to have this. You could see that there's some spots here where you can put diapers and wipes. It's just a nice fold out changing pad that you can take with you anywhere. These are great too to just fold up and put in your diaper bag if you wanna have a good changing pad to take places. I remember we would take this as well on walks with us, throw it in the stroller, and if I needed to change the baby's diaper at a park, it was a great and convenient little thing to have here. You can see this one here has a strap or you could attach it to something, maybe the handle of a stroller as well. It has a zipper compartment where you can add maybe desitin or something that you feel, you know, you always need to have on hand. The style that I had is a bit outdated, but there's a lot of cute ones out there now with more features. Features. Another must have is the diaper genie. Honestly, a lot of moms out there will say they did not like their diaper genie. I have no idea why they would not like having a diaper genie. This diaper pail kept so much odor out of our baby nursery that I was so thankful to own it. In the beginning, we did not get a diaper genie. I didn't think it was a necessary product to have. We just had a diaper pail, wastebasket in our nursery, and I would just use plastic grocery bags to to wrap up the diapers, but it was so stinky and we just could not seem to get rid of that smell. Once we got a diaper genie, however, I was so thankful. And yes, you do have to change out these bags here, but I really think it is worth having to keep that odor out. We used it for all four of our babies. I've heard some moms complain about how their diaper genie was always breaking. I don't understand why. We had this diaper genie for all four of our babies. It never broke and I was able to sell it in mint condition when we were all done on Facebook Marketplace and it was still working great. Diaper genies have also come a long way. They make them even better now where they lock in the odors. I am a huge fan of bibs. I found bibs were so helpful even before babies were sitting up and eating solid foods. I found bibs were great to have to protect the baby's cute little outfits from all their spit up. However, if you are going to get bibs, get the bibs that have the snaps. If you don't have the bibs with the snaps, the babies are going to yank them off. And it is so frustrating to have your baby constantly yanking off their bib. I found that the Velcro ones are just no good. I mentioned this in my video on all the things I regret owning or buying when I had babies. So definitely bibs, they are a must have for moms, but please, I highly recommend getting the ones with snaps. Another item that I do highly recommend is pacifiers. And I have to say that in the beginning, I did not want to do pacifiers at all. I said, I do not want to get our babies addicted to sucking on pacifiers. Well, I learned with my first baby that it's better to get your babies attached to a pacifier rather than sucking on their fingers. My first baby was so addicted to sucking on her fingers that she had that habit for years. And I think we finally broke it at age five, but it was really hard to break the habit. Going straight to pacifiers, you don't have to worry about breaking that habit because you just take it away or you can even cut away at the little nipple here. Now, when it comes to pacifiers, I like the Nook brand. Now, let me explain why I prefer getting the Nook brand. One, I just really like the nipple. I felt the shape of it really stayed in my baby's mouth better. Next, the dip right here was great to not bump the baby's nose. Like I felt a lot of the more rounder pacifiers 
seem to be awkward, always hitting the baby in the nose. And I also love the handle. The handle is a two part feature. One, it is a teething ring. So when your little one is in the beginning stages of teething, they can use this little handle here as something to gnaw on. Having a handle in general is important because sometimes when my baby wasn't using the pacifier, but I wanted to keep it nearby, I could just put it on my finger and didn't have to worry about touching the nipple. It was just really convenient. Plus it's easier if you want to attach those clips. This is the pacifier that I remember they gave us in the hospital when we had our first baby. Was not a fan of this. This brand of pacifier was always coming out of our baby's mouth. Plus it didn't have a handle. There's a variety of reasons why I like the Nook pacifier. It is a BPA free silicone material where when you drop it several times, it's not gonna crack. And we actually had some other pacifiers that were a harder plastic and they did crack over time. If you plan to use pacifiers, I highly recommend the Nook brand pacifier. If you want to wean your baby off a pacifier, all you have to do is cut off that little nipple. Just keep cutting it off piece by piece until your baby or toddler loses interest altogether. So much easier to wean your baby off of a pacifier than sucking their fingers. And while I'm on the subject of pacifiers, I also suggest getting a pacifier clip. And I really like this one particular brand that we had. I did have some other brands in the past too that I did not care for because the clips always broke. They always wore away, but this one particular brand was fantastic. Really, it is so helpful to have a pacifier clip for when you are out and about, your baby is sucking on their pacifier and it falls out of their mouth. This way, it's not gonna fall on the ground. Well, that is it for all my favorite and must have baby items. These are things that I found very useful as a new mother, as a new parent, some of these things I didn't even discover until after I had my first baby and wish that I would have known about sooner. I definitely hope this was helpful and it gave you some great ideas. And please, if you haven't already, go and watch my first video I did on all the items I regret buying. All the items that I found were just not that important for being a new parent. If you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and may you have a beautiful day.